We are now going to talk about operating systems in relation to security now. An operating system or OS is system software that manages computer hardware and software resources and provides common services for computer applications. The operating system is the main software on a computer that controls all the applications. Examples of desktop operating systems include Windows 7, 8, 10, also Mac OS, Debian Linux, Ubuntu Linux, BSD, Solaris, etc. On the mobile phone, there are operating systems such as iOS for Apple, Android, Windows OS, BlackBerry OS, Symbian, and so on. The operating system has full control of all actions on a device. If the operating system isn't secure or is compromised, it is absolutely game over from the start for your security. The OS needs to be a secure base to hope to have a secure environment. There are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to operating systems and security. You may have heard, for example, that Macs can't get viruses. Not true. Lots of people also say that Windows is terrible when it comes to security. Not necessarily true either. Then you've got people in the Linux camp that think Linux is the greatest operating system for security without fault. Not true. Linux, like any operating system, isn't perfect. So let's explore some of those beliefs based on facts and statistics over the next few lectures and see where we actually end up when it comes to the security of common operating systems. First, let's consider the security features available within operating systems and also available third-party apps for those operating systems. So, Windows. Windows has got a bad track record. There's no doubt about that. It's had weak security design from the beginning, but you have to give credit where credit is due. In the more recent operating systems, Microsoft has started to take security seriously. And with its later products and its later security features like BitLocker, DeviceGuard, Windows Hello, Windows Trusted Apps, it has a fairly solid set of security features now. The thing that lets Windows down, especially with the more recent Windows 10, are the tracking and privacy issues, which is a slightly different thing to security features, but it does put some people off. We will be covering Windows security and privacy features and applications in much more detail as we go through the course. This is an overview. Next, Mac OS. Currently, again, like Windows, has a reasonable, solid base of security features, things like address space, layout randomization, application sandboxing, File Vault 2, privacy controls, Apple's trusted store apps, and so on. All strong security features, but if you were to compare Windows 10 to the latest Mac OS, Windows has more security features and much more third-party security applications are available for Windows over Mac OS. So what do I mean by that? So for example, if you're looking for a good application firewall for Mac OS or another security product or feature that you're going to get from a third party, you have limited choice. There just isn't as much available. For Windows, the choice is almost endless. We will be covering Mac OS security and privacy features and applications in more detail as we go through the course. Then we have Linux. Linux type operating systems, BSD types, Unix like operating systems. There's a large variety of these operating systems. So I'm bucketing them all together for convenience here for this lecture. But if you're looking for the most secure operating systems, this is where you're going to find them. The likes of Cubes OS, Tails, Debian, Arch Linux would be good examples of security and privacy focused operating systems. And we will, of course, be covering Cubes, OS, Tails, and other Linux operating system security features and applications as we go through the course. And just for your information, if you're looking for beginner friendly Linux operating systems, then consider Manjaro, Ubuntu, and Mint. But Debian is my recommendation for a general use operating system that also considers security and privacy if you're looking for a Linux operating system. When we consider Windows, 
Mac and Linux. Windows has the most security features and third party security applications available. Mac has the least security features and third party security applications available. And Linux is where the security focused operating systems can be found. Windows, Mac OS and Linux, based on their security features, can all be used as a secure base operating system. But if you need higher levels of protection, you'll be looking towards Linux type operating systems. On the mobile platform, the main competing operating systems are Android from Google and iOS from Apple. Android is a more open operating system, meaning you're allowed to do more with it and you can do more with it, which is great. But this isn't good for security, though. iOS is a closed system restricting what you can do. So you can do less on it than you can on Android. But because it's a restricted operating system, a closed operating system, this is good for security. Android is improving its security all the time. But iOS from Apple would be the market leader if you're looking for a secure mobile operating system right now.